In this video, I'm going to show you how you can position widgets in Kivi as well as size them. Now let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Short Code. So today we'll be looking at how to position widgets on the screen as well as how to size them. In the last video we touched on this but we didn't really go into much detail. But today we're going to go in in depth how to size them as well as how to position them. Now in Kivi there are two types of positioning and sizing. The first type is relative and there's also absolute. Relative is pause hint and size hint like we used in the last episode and absolute is just position and size. What relative means is that the position and the size is relative to the parent and absolute is defined in pixels. So to demonstrate what relative is like I've just got this diagram here. I know it's not the best diagram, I made it in MS Paint. But as you can see, this is our main app window, and inside that we have our float layout, which is taking up the entire window. And inside that we have our button, and it has a few properties which are pause hint and size hint. And the position is center x, 50%, and center y, 50% as well. And the size hint, the width is 12.5%. And the height is 12.5% as well. So these percentages are compared to the window. So this width right here is 12.5% of the entire width of the window. And same for the height. It's 12.5% of the height of the window. And it's 50% of the way along of the entire window. And 50% of the way up of the entire window. And that's what relative is. It's relative to its parent, which is the float layout. Now let's talk about absolute sizing. I've also got another diagram which was made in MS Paint. As you can see, absolute sizing and positioning is based on pixels rather than percentages. So here the window is 1080 by 1920. And inside of that we have our float layout. And then we also have a button inside the float layout. And it also has some properties which are pause and size. So for the position, on the x-axis it's 0, so it's right against the left side of the window. And its y-axis is 1800 pixels from the bottom. And the size is 600 pixels by 500 pixels. So instead of using percentages that are relative to the parent widget, we're just using straight up pixels. And by the way, if you are finding this video helpful, a like would be appreciated. So what does this mean? Which one should you use? Well, to show this, I've got some code here. This code right here is similar to the code we were using last week, except instead of labels, we have buttons. So we're using float layout, we've got a button, we're adding it to the layout, then we're returning the layout. And here we can see we are using relative positioning and sizing, so we're using size hint and pause hint. And the size hint is 30% and 20%. And the center x is 20% and 50%. So if we run it now, we can see that we've got a button that says hello. So we've got our button here. What happens if we scale it down to, say, a mobile device size? So let's just scale it. As you can see, as we scale it down, the size of the button changes as well because it's relative to the parent. So as the parent changes, the button does as well. And that's why it changes size. And if we go to the absolute version of this, where we're using just size and position, if we run it now, we can see we've also got a button that just says A. And, and what happens if we scale it down now to a mobile device size? You can see that it disappeared. It disappears because we're using pixels instead of percentages. Let's say the width of the mobile device is only 400 pixels, then the button won't appear because it's set to be 500 pixels on the x-axis, but the width of the mobile device is only 400 pixels, so it won't display. Whereas if we're using relative positioning, then it won't matter how big the phone screen size is because it scales down and scales up to everything. Also, the reason why we have size hint set to none here is because it defaults to 1 and 1, so if we got rid of this, then the button just wouldn't work. So it needs to be set to none and none if we are going to set the absolute size. So should you use relative or absolute positioning? You should really be using relative because say I have a tablet, it'll fit onto the tablet. But also if I have a tiny mobile device, it will also fit on that as well because it scales up or down to every screen size you have. Whereas absolute might not work on different screen sizes. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you would like to see how to use lambdas in Python, then click on this video here. It's a really useful trick to learn. Anyway, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.